Horrid Henry robs the bank. I want the skull. I want the skull. I want the skull, said Horrid Henry, glaring. You had it last time, Henry, said Perfect Peter. I never get it. Did not. Did too. I'm the guest, so I get the skull, said Moody Margaret, snatching it from the box. You can have the claw. No, wailed Henry. The skull is my lucky piece. Margaret looked smug. <laughs> you know I'm going to win, Henry, because I always do. So ha, ha, ha. Wanna bet, muttered Horrid Henry. The good news was that Horrid Henry was playing Gotcha, the world's best board game. Horrid Henry loved Gotcha. You rolled the dice and travelled round the board, collecting treasure, buying dragon lairs, and praying you didn't land in your enemy's lairs or in the dungeon. The bad news was that Horrid Henry was having to play gotcha with his worm-toed crybaby brother. The worst news was that Moody Margaret, the world's biggest cheater, was playing with them. Margaret's mum was out for the afternoon and had dumped Margaret at Henry's. Why, oh, why did she have to play at his house? Why couldn't her mum just dump her in the bin where she belonged? Unfortunately, the last time they'd played gotcha, Margaret had won. The last two, three, four and five times they'd played, Margaret had won. Margaret was a demon gotcha player. Well, not any longer. This time, Henry was determined to beat her. Horrid Henry hated losing. By hook or by crook, he would triumph. Moody Margaret had beaten him at gotcha for the very last time. Who'll be banker? said Perfect Peter. Me, said Margaret. Me, said Henry. Being in charge of all the game's treasure was an excellent way of topping up your coffers when none of the other players was looking. I'm the guest, so I'm banker, said Margaret. You can be the dragon keeper. Horrid Henry's hand itched to yank Margaret's hair. But then Margaret would scream and scream and Mum would send Henry to his room and confiscate gotcha until Henry was old and bald and dead. Touch any treasure that isn't yours and you will dragon food, hissed Henry. Steal any dragon eggs that aren't yours and your taste, hissed Margaret. If you're banker and Henry's the dragon keeper, what am I, said Perfect Peter. A toad said Henry, and count yourself lucky. Horrid Henry snatched the dice. I'll go first. The player who went first always had the best chance of buying up the best dragon lairs like Eerie Eerie and Hideous Hellmouth. No, said Margaret, I'll go first. I'm the youngest, I should go first, said Peter. Me, said Margaret, snatching the dice. I'm the guest. Me, said Henry, snatching them back. Me, said Peter. Mum! Screamed Henry and Peter. Mum ran in. You haven't even started playing and already you're fighting, said Mum. It's, it's my, my turn, turn to, to go, go first, first, wailed Henry, Margaret and Peter. The rules say to roll the dice and whoever gets the highest number goes first, said Mum. End of story. She left closing the door behind her. Henry rolled. Four. Not good. Peter's knee touched mine when I rolled the dice, protested Henry. I'll get another turn. No, you don't, said Margaret. Mum! Henry's cheating! shrieked Peter. If I get called one more time, 
screamed Mum from upstairs. I will throw that game in the bin. Eek. Margaret rolled. Three. You breathed on me, hissed Margaret. Did not, said Henry. Did too, said Margaret. I get another go. No way, said Henry. Peter picked up the dice. Low roll, low roll, low roll, chanted Henry. Stop it, Henry, said Peter. Low roll, low roll, low roll, chanted Henry, louder. Peter rolled an eleven. Yippee, I'd go first, trilled Peter. Henry glared at him. Perfect Peter took a deep breath and rolled the dice to start the game. Five. A fate square. Perfect Peter moved his gargoyle to the fate square and picked up a fate card. Would it tell him to claim a treasure hoard or send him to the dungeon? He squinted at it. The og, the ogre, uh, I can't read it, he said. The words are too hard for me. Henry snatched the card. It read, the ogres make you king for a day, collect 20 rubies from the other players. The ogres make you king for a day, give 20 rubies to the player on your left, read Henry. Oh, that's me, so pay up. Perfect Peter handed Henry 20 rubies, <laughs> thought horrid Henry. I think you read that fate card wrong, Henry, said Moody Margaret grimly. Uh-oh. If Margaret read Peter the card, he was dead. Mum would make them stop playing and Henry would get into trouble. Big, big trouble. Jin, said Henry. Did, said Margaret. I'm telling on you. Hurried Henry looked at the card again. Whoops, silly me. I read it too fast, said Henry. It says, give 20 rubies to all the other players. <laughs> Thought so, said Moody Margaret. <laughs> Perfect Peter rolled the dice. Nine! Oh, no! That took Peter straight to Eerie Eerie, Henry's favourite lair. Now Peter could buy it. Everyone always landed on it and had to pay ransom or get eaten. Rats, rats, rats! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <gasps> Look, Henry, I've landed on Eerie Eerie and no one owns it yet, said Peter. Don't buy it, said Henry. It's the worst layer on the board. No one ever lands on it. You'd just be wasting your money. Who? Oh said Peter. He looked doubtful. But, but, said Peter, save your money for when you land in other people's lairs, said Henry. That's what I'd do. Okay, said Peter. I'm not buying. <laughs> Henry rolled. Six. Yes! He landed on Eerie Eerie. I'm buying it, crowed Henry. But Henry, said Peter, you just told me not to buy it. You shouldn't listen to me, said Henry. Mom! wailed Peter. <laughs> Soon Henry owned Eerie Eerie, Griffin Gulch and Creepy Hollow, but he was dangerously low on treasure. Margaret owned Rocky Ravine, Vulture Valley and Hideous Hellmouth. Margaret kept her treasure in her treasure pouch, so it was impossible to see how much money she had. But Henry guessed she was also low. Peter owned Demon Den and one dragon egg. Margaret was stuck in the dungeon. Yippee! This meant if Henry landed on one of her lairs, he'd be safe. Horrid Henry rolled and landed on Vulture Valley, guarded by a baby dragon. Gotcha! shrieked Margaret. Give me 25 rubies. You're in the dungeon. You can't collect ransom, said Henry. Na, 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 na. <sniffs> Can? Can't. That's how we play in my house, said Margaret. In case you hadn't noticed, we're not at your house, said Henry. 
that I'm the guest, said Margaret. Give me my money. No, shouted Henry. You can't just make up rules. The rules say, began perfect Peter. Shut up, Peter, Peter! screamed Henry and Margaret. I'm not paying, said Henry. Margaret glowered. I'll get you for this, Henry, she hissed. It was Peter's turn. Henry had just upgraded his baby dragon guarding Eerie Eerie to a big, huge, fire-breathing, slavering monster dragon. Peter was only five squares away. If Peter landed there, he'd be out of the game. Land, 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 chanted Henry. Yum, 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 my dragon is just waiting to eat you up. Stop it, Henry, said Peter. He rolled. Five. Gotcha! shouted horrid Henry. I own Eerie Eerie. You've landed in my lair. Pay up. That's a hundred rubies. I don't have enough money, wailed perfect Peter. Horrid Henry drew his finger across his throat. <whistles> You're dead meat, worm, he chortled. Perfect Peter burst into tears and ran out of the room. <gasps> He wailed. Oh, I lost! Hurried Henry glared at Moody Margaret. Moody Margaret glared at Horrid Henry. You're next to be eaten, snarled Margaret. You're next, snarled Henry. Ha 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 ha! Henry peeked under the gotcha board where his treasure was hidden. Oh no, not again! He'd spent so much on dragons, he was down to his last few rubies. If he landed on any of Margaret's lairs, he'd be wiped out. He had to get more treasure, he had to. Why, oh why, had he let Margaret be banker? His situation was desperate. Peter was easy to steal money from, but Margaret's eagle eyes never missed a trick. What to do? What to do? He had to get more treasure. He had to. And then, suddenly, Horrid Henry had a brilliant, spectacular idea. It was so brilliant that Henry couldn't believe he'd never thought of it before. It was dangerous. It was risky. But what choice did he have? I need the loo, said Henry. Hurry up, said Margaret, scowling. Hurried Henry dashed to the downstairs loo and sneaked straight out of the back door. Then he jumped over the garden wall and crept into Margaret's house. Quickly, he ran to her sitting room and scanned her games cupboard. Aha! There was Margaret's gotcha! Horrid Henry stuffed his pockets with treasure. He stuffed more under his shirt and in his socks. Is that you, my little sugar plum? Came a voice from upstairs. Maggie Moo Moo! Henry froze. Margaret's mum was home. Maggie Plumpikins! Cooed her mum coming down the stairs. Is that you? Oh no! squeaked Henry. I mean, yes, he squawked. I've got to go back to Henry's. Bye. And hurried Henry ran for his life. You took a long time, said Margaret. Henry hugged his stomach. Upset tummy, he lied. Oh boy, was he brilliant. Now, with loads of cash, which he would slip under the board, he was sure to win. Henry picked up the dice and handed them to Margaret. Your turn, said Henry. Henry's hungry dragon stood waiting six places away in Goblin Gorge. Roll of six, roll of six, roll of six, prayed horrid Henry. Not a six, not a six, not a six, prayed moody Margaret. Margaret rolled. Four. She moved her skull to the haunted forest. Your turn, said Margaret. Henry rolled a three. Oh no, 
He'd landed on hideous Hellmouth, where Margaret's giant dragon loomed. Yes! squealed Margaret. Gotcha! You're dead! Ha 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 ha! I won! Moody Margaret leapt to her feet and did a victory dance, whooping and cheering. Horrid Henry smiled at her. Oh dear, said Horrid Henry. Oh dearie, dearie me. Looks like I'm dragon food. Not! <laughs> what do you mean, not? said Margaret. You're dead meat, you can't pay me. Not so fast, said Horrid Henry. With a flourish, he reached under the board and pulled out a wadge of treasure. Let me see, a hundred rubies, is it? said Henry, counting off a pile of coins. Margaret's mouth dropped open. How did you... Huh? Huh? She spluttered. Henry shrugged modestly. Some of us know how to play this game, he said. Now roll. Moody Margaret rolled and landed on a fate square. Go straight to Eerie Eerie, read the card. Yotta! shrieked Horrid Henry. He'd won! Margaret didn't have enough money to stop being eaten. She was dead. She was doomed. I won! I won! You can't pay me! Na, 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 shrieked Horrid Henry, leaping up and doing a victory dance. I am the Gotcha King! Says who? said Moody Margaret, pulling a handful of treasure from her pouch. Huh? You stole that money! spluttered Henry. You stole the bank's money, you big fat cheater! Didn't did! Cheater! howled Moody Margaret. Cheater! howled Horrid Henry. Moody Margaret grabbed the board and hurled it to the floor. I won! said Horrid Henry. Did not! Did too, Maggie Moo Moo! Don't call me that, said Margaret, glaring. Call you what, Moo Moo? I challenge you to a rematch, said Moody Margaret. You're on, said Horrid Henry.